Well, there are a lot of different facts about monarchs that people should know. One is that this, this butterfly migrates to Mexico where it overwinters and then it returns from Mexico in the spring and then it has several generations before there's another migration south again. And this migration is really the most fantastic insect migration in the entire world. It's, it numbers hundreds of millions of butterflies each fall. Uh, the butterflies are moving in the fall migration at about 25 to 30 miles a day as they're going south. Uh, a large proportion of them make it to the overwintering sites as they pass through this country and through Mexico uh, to this overwintering area, which is west of Mexico City. And there they go into the mountains at about 11,000 feet and form tremendous clusters of butterflies with up to uh, 50 million butterflies per hectare. And it's truly a remarkable phenomenon. If the sun hits the butterflies and the wind hits the butterflies just at the right time of day, at the right time of year, these butterflies will take off in big cascades and come off the trees, sweeping down uh, from the trees just to move around a bit. And it's just like no other experience you could possibly have. Another phenomenon that you see down there is something that we call streaming, where the butterflies will come off of these cl clusters and race down the mountains at uh, 10 to 12 miles an hour uh, to try to find water. And then you'll see a reverse path. But the path coming down the mountains is they're, they're kind of doing a, a sometimes flying, sometimes gliding because they're going downhill and they're going pretty fast. On the way up the mountains, they have to fly the entire way. They have to use powered flight. So it's, it's a different sort of thing to see once one streaming down, going pretty fast, the other one kind of huffing and puffing to get back up to where they were to cluster again in the trees overnight.